Good morning everyone, happy Easter. Uh, I wanted to start by teaching you guys something that we as Christians love to say um, on Easter Sunday. You may have heard it before. So when you hear someone say, he is risen, then you respond by saying, he is risen indeed. And you have to say it excited like that because this is something so exciting that really happened over 2,000 years ago and we celebrate on this day that Jesus rose from the dead. So we're going to practice. Anytime you hear me say he is risen, then you have to respond with he is risen indeed, okay? And I'm trusting that you guys are going to do this at home and say it nice and loud. So he is risen! Good job. Okay, so all day you can go around saying that and celebrating this Easter Sunday. So today as we celebrate uh, that Jesus conquered death, but we also remember on Good Friday that he was willing to go to the cross and die on, uh, for us and he suffered for us so that we, each of us, could have eternal life one day. Um, but that was Friday and we remembered his death. But now today is the great good news that he didn't stay dead. He rose again. He is risen. Good job. Uh, and we are just so happy that he rose from the dead, conquered death, and that he is now with his Father in heaven where we will join him one day. And today's Bible story, I think, is the most important story in the entire Bible. We've been going through the whole Bible beginning at Genesis for a while now through uh, the Gospel Project, uh, but now we get to the most exciting story ever, which is that Jesus rose from the dead and conquered death. And without that, we would be hopeless, we would be stuck in our sin, and we would still be separated from God. And so that is why this is the whole Easter weekend. It wasn't just Good Friday, it's the whole weekend because we have to remember his death but then also celebrate his resurrection. And so we're going to watch our Bible video. Uh, I know lots of you have probably heard this story many times, but make sure to watch the Bible story and we'll talk more about it after. After Jesus was arrested, he was led to the high priest. The religious leaders were trying to find a reason to kill Jesus, but they could not. The high priest asked, Are you the Messiah, the Son of God? Jesus replied, Yes, that's right. The high priest said, He has spoken against God. He deserves to die. The religious leaders refused to believe that Jesus was God's Son. In the morning, the religious leaders led Jesus to Pilate, the governor. Are you the king of the Jews? Pilate asked. Yes, that's right, Jesus replied. What should I do with Jesus? Pilate asked the crowd. Crucify him, they answered. Pilate did not think Jesus had done anything wrong, but he handed Jesus over and said, do whatever you want. The governor's soldiers put a scarlet robe on Jesus. They made a crown of thorns and put it on his head. Then they mocked him. Here is the king of the Jews. They beat Jesus and led him away to be killed. The soldiers nailed Jesus to a cross. They put a sign above his head that said, this is Jesus, the king of the Jews. Two criminals were crucified next to him. Darkness covered the land. Jesus cried out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus shouted again and then he died. Suddenly, the curtain in the temple sanctuary split in two from top to bottom and there was an earthquake. One of the men guarding Jesus' body said, this man really was God's son. Jesus was buried in a tomb. A stone was sealed in front of the tomb so that no one could steal Jesus' body. On the third day, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to the tomb. Suddenly, there was an earthquake. An angel of the Lord rolled back the stone and sat on it. The guards were so afraid that they fainted. The angel spoke to the woman, Don't be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus. He is not here. He has risen just like he said he would. The women left the tomb quickly. They ran to tell the disciples the good news. Just then, Jesus greeted them. The women worshipped him. Don't be afraid, Jesus told them. Tell my followers to go to Galilee. They will see me there. 
Jesus appeared to Peter and then to the other disciples. Jesus also appeared to more than 500 people who followed him. Many people witnessed that Jesus is alive. Jesus' death and resurrection is the center of the gospel. In Adam, we were spiritually dead in sin, but Jesus died to pay for our sins. Jesus is alive. God gives new life to everyone who trusts in Jesus. So I'm sure a lot of you have heard this story many, many times. I know that I have, but it is still so amazing every single time I hear it that Jesus was willing to go and die on the cross for each and every one of us, but then he conquered death. He defeated it. Death was not more powerful than him. And because of that, we can have eternal life with him. He was willing to go through that suffering and that pain and that horrible death because he knew that if we accepted it, that gift of salvation that we would be with him again in heaven one day and he loved each and every one of us so much that he was willing to do that so now we've learned what Jesus did for us but now each of us have a part to play in this as well we have to ask ourselves do we believe that Jesus truly was the Son of God and then do we believe that he really did die on a cross for us 2,000 years ago and do we believe that he did raise from the dead that he is alive right now in heaven with his father waiting for us and if you do believe all of those things then all that God asks you to do is to pray and ask that he forgive you from his sins and that you accept Jesus into your life as your Lord and your King and then you have eternal life forever and that we'll all get to enjoy being in heaven one day it means that each and every one of us who have accepted that gift we're going to go to heaven one day and we're all going to be there and we're going to see Jesus him alive with the Father and we're going to get to celebrate and worship with him one day and that is the good news of what Easter is all about and so I hope and pray that each and every one of you have made that decision and if you haven't it is not too late as long as you are still alive and have breath you can make that decision but we have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow we don't know when Jesus is going to return and we don't know what's going to happen to us or when we're going to die so it's so important that we make that decision right now and so I'm just gonna close this time in a word of prayer and just know that uh, you are loved by Jesus and that he was thinking about you when he died on that cross that he knew that you were worth it God I thank you so much for this Easter weekend God I thank you that we can just take this time to celebrate um, that you conquered death and that we do not have to live in our sin anymore um, and I pray that we would remember this each and every day not just on the Easter weekend God and I pray for every single person who will ever watch this video God I pray that they would just know that you care so much about them God that you are willing to die on the cross and that you you did it for everyone and that they would never think to themselves that it was for others it wasn't for me I've done too many bad things I'm not good enough God because you died for all of us who are all sinners and we are all not worthy of it but you looked at us and said that we were worth it so I pray that each and every person watching this would accept you into their lives uh, and that they would just accept this gift and know that they were made and created by you and are loved by you God and so I just pray for the rest of this wonderful Easter weekend that you would just be with each and every one of us uh, and that we would really just accept you uh, at this time and worship you through this uh, and I just thank you for all of the things that you do for us in your mighty name. Amen.